Hello, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do the stretchy bind off. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do the stretchy bind off while your project is on the loom. So you'll need your loom hook and a darning needle and the project that you're working on. So let's get started. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a stretchy bind off and this is part of the loom knitting basics. Now before we start, an important reminder, you'll want to wrap your yarn three and a half times around the loom and just give it a cut and you will need a darning needle to do this. So after you do that, Go ahead and thread your darning needle. And we're going to start going down peg two. So we're going to go down peg two. And you're working with a lot of, of yarn string here, so just be patient because it will get caught on the peg. So just work your way around it and go slow. And now you're going to go back up peg one. You're going to go behind peg two with your yarn and then down peg two with your darning needle. Pull that through and just keep it secure on the side. So you can be sure that the yarn goes behind the peg. Now you're going to go to the next peg and go up. Then we're going to go down the previous peg. Behind the peg to the left. And again, we just hold that snug there so it doesn't move to make sure that our yarn is going behind the peg. And then just do whatever you need to with your fingers to adjust it. So see how it's behind. So I'm going to have to move that with my fingers, which is no big deal. Now we're going to go up. The next peg. down the previous peg we're going to go behind the peg to the left again and down with our darning needle Then we're going to move to the peg to the left and go up with our darning needle and pull our yarn through. Down the previous peg. Now we're going to go behind the peg to the left and down with our darning needle. And you can use this bind off for anything stretchy. Now we're going to go up and then down the previous peg. Behind the peg to the left again and down with our darning needle. 
pull it through and hold it secure. And then up the peg to the left again. Down the previous peg with your darning needle. Behind the peg to the left and down with the darning needle again. Up on the peg to the left, pull your, your yarn through down the previous peg, put your yarn behind the peg to the left, take your darning needle and pull it down, and go up, down the previous peg, behind the peg to the left and down with your darning needle again. And then finally up on the peg to the left with your darning needle, pull your yarn through and you're done. So now we're ready to take our project off of the loom. So you can just use your hook or your fingers, whichever you prefer to pull your project off of the loom. And now we're just going to take our yarn, make a knot, and then we're just going to hide this tail in. And we'll do that for both sides, but I'm only going to show you this side. So we just want to make sure that that's secure and it's really simple. So you just push it through, pull the needle, and then cut the yarn. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it for another session of Lumity Basics for our stretchy bind off. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell button so you will get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one. Bye!